In the last month of pregnancy, the fetus may have changed presentation inside the uterus. Several indications denote fetal presentation and position. In the uterus, what is known as the fetal lie is the relationship of the fetal and maternal long axes. The fetus will adopt either a transverse or longitudinal lie, the latter being the most common. Fetal presentation refers to the body part entering the pelvis first. Cephalic presentation is the most common. In a breech birth, either the sacrum or a foot will present. Fetal position is the relationship of a landmark on the presenting part of the fetus, the occiput, for example, to one quadrant of the maternal pelvis. The quadrants are right and left posterior and right and left anterior. Designate fetal position by indicating first the side of the pelvis, right or left, second, the presenting part, and third, the portion of the pelvis, posterior or anterior. This is an LOA position which stands for left occiput anterior. LOP stands for left occiput posterior, ROA, right occiput anterior. These are common fetal positions. This is an ROT position, right occiput transverse. Transverse is used when the presenting part is neither posterior or anterior to the maternal pelvis, but rather directly to the side. The position of this breech presentation is designated as left sacrum anterior, since the sacrum is the presenting part. As the head descends into the pelvis, this relieves pressure on the maternal diaphragm. Once the head descends, the woman can breathe and eat more easily, so the descent has been termed lightening. In the multipara, lightening may not occur until early labor. A day or two before labor, the mucus plug is expelled, causing a blood-tinged emission of which the woman may or may not be aware. Prior to labor, about 25% of women experience spontaneous rupture of the membrane. 